Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I want to take uh, some time to thank all my new subscribers. I don't know, I think I have like 28 or 30, you know? Little by little, getting there. You know, spreading uh, some message or whatnot, you know, getting some minds thinking in a different way, you know, versus what's on TV all day, fucking movies, superheroes, you gotta watch your superhero movies, kids, and I see full-fledged adults, like, you insult their superheroes and they get so fucking pissed, <laughs> holy shit, oh yeah, I would like to uh, thank, wow, look at my stats right here, Watch time, 775 uh, minutes, views, 219, and plus 12 subscribers. Wow. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Shit, I don't do it for myself. <laughs> well, I do because it's fun. <laughs> it's, it's starting to get fun. But, you know, it's interesting to have people feedback. Like, it, it's, you know, it's just, it takes two to tango, what I like to say. You know, so <laughs> surprisingly, the Chris Cornell possible fake suicide pizza gate <laughs> got 55, <laughs> 55 views. So I guess more Chris Cornell stuff. And I got a lot of Chris Cornell stuff um, planned out. Also, 775 minutes wasted on me. Awesome, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get this shit out here. Do your own channel. Get it popping. Get it, you know? Start doing your stuff. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. You just gotta do it. Alright, so we're gonna talk about baptism. And it predates... It's way before Christianity. Christianity started using baptism... But, um, you know, it comes back from uh, ancient Egypt. It's crazy. All right, look. The practice, and the practice of baptism in pagan religions. Okay, again, pagan, I view it as a de uh, like a bad word. Like saying like the N-word to a black person. You know, pagan just means like multi-gods, but like in a lower standard. They were just uh, Gnostics, you know, people who had meant, whoever wasn't, uh, you know, whoever didn't have more than one guy was considered pagan, like labeled like, okay, pagan. Well, anyways, let's get back to this. Uh, pagan religion seems to have been based on a belief in the purifying properties of water, purifying properties. In ancient Babylon, according to the tablets of Maklu, water was an important as a spiritual cleansing agent in the cult of Enki, Lord of Eridu. In ancient e in, in Egypt, the book of going forth by day contains a treatise on the baptism of a newborn children of newborn children, which is performed to purify them of blemishes acquired in the womb. Water, especially the Nile's cold water, which was believed to have regenerative powers, is used to baptize the dead in ritual based on the Osiris myth. We all know these are these are not myths. Um, when you believe in a globe earth, all these are myths. But when you have a flat earth, all this makes sense. So exactly why they made it into a ball. Evidence shows. Let's stick to the evidence. Um, Egyptian cults also developed the idea of regeneration through water. And this is true shit. You can't survive. You go. Sur you can't survive without water. You survive uh, longer without food than water. Water, you're dead in a few days. So this is not bullshit. Like everything that is saying is true. Egyptian cults also developed the idea of regeneration through water. The bath preceding initiation into the cult of Isis seems to have been more than a simple ritual purification. It was probably intended to represent symbolically the initiate's death to life of this world by recalling Osiris drowning in the Nile. In the cult Cybele, a baptism of blood was practiced in the rite of the 
Tyrobolium, where one was covered with the blood of the bull. By bull. At first, this rite seemed to have been to provide the initiate with greater physical vitality, but later it acquired more of the spiritual importance. A well-known inscription attests that he who has received baptism of blood will receive a new birth in eternity. Look. <laughs> ah, this is funny. However, the fact that this baptism was repeated periodically shows that the idea of complete spiritual regeneration was not associated with it. Well, I'm assuming they were copying ideas from like way before the Egyptians, back when they had access to the living waters where we're going to go to in 2019, the living waters of everlasting life. They got that idea from that long ancient culture, the ancient way of life of the golden age where we live forever and we had access to water. We were close to God, so to say, you know, we had access to that. So the, these these people didn't get these ideas like out of thin air. They got it from predating them. So Christians got it from Egyptians and Egyptians got it from like uh, Babylon and predating predating like even them back when it was originally used which was bathing in the living waters of the holy grail so they took that idea and passed it on and now we use it and we say you know christians you know i bait you know baptism and all this so everything comes from a source you can't be blind to you got to follow the tracks like you can't just be blind to the fact of the tracks you know, you could believe whatever you want, but, you know, I'm just providing some uh, some evidence <laughs> and saying this makes sense. <laughs> and look, awesome. This is what I thought, too. This is leading into what I was saying. The property of immortality was also associated with baptism in the ancient Greek world. So, you know, I'm saying that they, they got this idea from a time when it was originally used. When they were actually bathing in the living waters and living forever, the golden age, you know, and when you lose the knowledge and you think you're on a ball, you're looking outside for God or whatever that may be. But it was always within as without. We were in it all along. So the property of immortality was also associated with baptism in the ancient Greek world, a bath in the sanctuary of Triphonion procured for the initiate a blessed immortality even while in this world the mystery religions of that period often included ablution rites of either immersion or washing of the body for purposes of purification or initiation other comps are said to have been associated with this forms of cultic baptism included the transformation of one's life the removal of sins Symbolic representation, the attainment of greater physical vitality, a new beginning, a spiritual reg regeneration. It is believed that all ancient religions recognize some form of spiritual cleansing, renewal, or initiation that was accompl accomplished through a washing or immersion in water. Look, they say that the ancient religions recognize some form of spiritual cleansing. Okay, well, they got that idea. From something. It just didn't come out of thin air. Like, oh, let me take a shower and woo, that's spiritual. They got it from something that meant a lot to them, that was beyond this world. And they pass it on to symbolize that. And also water has its own regenerative properties. You gotta you gotta do it with it with whatever water. You know, you gotta shower, you gotta, you know. It still serves its function symbolically, and that's what matters. Symbolically, doesn't matter what it is, it's what it symbolizes. All right, guys, so you could read this article, look up uh, baptism, um, you know, origins, baptism of Christian, baptism origins, you know, baptism of John, look at all this. They got some sources, encyclopedias, interesting. So they're putting these secrets in plain sight for you. So pretty much, baptism represents something that happened long, long ago when they used to actually bathe in these waters and become anew. They used to bathe in these waters and it was passed down to generation, generations and, you know, millennia. 
and suddenly we're here now you know learning about this so you know i hope you enjoyed maybe get an insight maybe do research of your own that's what i encourage and you guys have a good one and pick up organite organite is very good look look up organite all these emf waves and all that you know it's crazy <laughs> but there's always a solution <laughs> you just got to look for it all right take care